I can't wait to show it. So I've essentially been flying under the radar. Um, nobody's talking about me, which is fine. I don't care. You know, I'd rather not people not talk about me. I'm not here for attention. I'm here to get wins. Um, but I think after this, people are going to be talking. Um, when I win, um, it's going to put me, I don't care where it puts me as far as uh, who I fight next. And But uh, I just only care when I fight next. And um, the more I fight, eventually, it's going to, I've said it before, eventually it's going to be for the belt. You say what, you don't has take, what, what has it taken for you to get to this level? What is it, how many years? What is it, blood, sweat, and tears to get here? Well, I fought. You know, I began fighting in 2011, um, and <clears throat> I would say a, a huge change came when I moved to Phoenix, when I started training at the MMA lab, and I uh, took myself out of uh, I don't want to say my comfort zone, but um, because I'm comfortable everywhere, I'm adaptable. I go, I, uh, I absorb my environment, you know, assimilate to it and uh, figure out ways to make it work to my advantage. And uh, when I went down to the MMA lab, um, <clears throat> just a really good program, really good training partners, awesome coaches. Um, you can't go wrong when you have a structure already set up for you to succeed. So I went into it, placed myself in there and uh, did everything that they wanted me to do and everything that I have to do to be the best fighter that I can be. Not to be the best fighter in the world or be a better fighter than anybody else in the UFC. I'm trying to be the best fighter that I can be, better than myself yesterday and the day before that. So um, my goal is to just do that, you know, just become a better person. So you're facing Jack Kellermanson, who's really found his stride in the UFC, it seems, now with four straight wins. What do you sort of make of his rise through the ranks and his last couple of fights and performances? Well, he's been in the middleweight division as far as UFC goes his whole career, but his ascent to the into the ranks has been quite similar to mine's. A, routed off a couple of big wins, uh, stepped in short notice and got another one, uh, a, a really huge win against uh, uh, Jacques Ray, who was guaranteed a title shot with uh, with a win. So um, that's crazy. He went in there and took that away from him. So um, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm not letting anybody take anything away from me. He's going to have to earn it. And um, it's not going to be uh, an easy earn for him. And so far, his only losses have been sort of quick first round uh, finishes. Do you feel like that's what you need to do to be able to beat him as well? Sort of bring it to him really hard and intensely in the opening bout? Uh, no. Um, that's not my style. You know, I don't really uh, go out and go, 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 go. I did that against Dominic Reyes, and we saw what happened there. So um, just, just being smart, you know? Being being a more intelligent fighter is one thing I got from uh, that Dominic Reyes fight. And um, <clears throat> don't have to rush anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my time. We're in a fight. You know what I'm saying? The cage is closed. And if you don't want to come to me, I'm definitely going to be coming to you. So um, we're going to engage at one point or another. And when I hit you, you know what I'm saying, I can put you away. So um, that I'm not counting on. I don't care how I get the win. I just know I'm going to win. And this will be your first main event, so five rounds. Does that change anything in, in preparation or stuff like that, that you'll be going potentially 25 minutes as opposed to 15? It definitely changes your preparation, you know, having to prepare for a five-round fight. You know, anybody who overlooks that aspect of a, of a fight sh probably shouldn't be fighting. So, um, or at least they're not as professional as they should be. So, with that being said... Um, You know, I've, I've always focused on conditioning, even as a heavyweight. I've already gone five rounds, and I felt perfectly fine after going five rounds. My conditioning is good. Um, so um, in preparing for this fight, you know, of course you have to uh, do, the, do the extra work to make sure you are prepared for a five-round fight uh, for, uh, with top-level competition as well. So I expect him, I know I know he's got conditioning as well. So... Um, It's going to be a fight, but I don't want. It's not going to go five rounds. It ain't going to be 25 minutes. So, all right. Well, rounding off, then, what do you feel the fans at the Royal Arena uh, here on Saturday should expect from your bout with the Joker? Uh, my bout with the Joker. It's going to be a fun fight to watch. That's for sure. Jack brings it, as do I. So when you see us clash, who knows what's going to happen? Um, I feel that 
his best chance of winning is on the ground. You know, he's uh, definitely has the grappling uh, accolades and all those things. So, um, but I'm no slouch on the ground either. I don't plan to go on there. You know what I'm saying? It may not go as planned, but if it, if, I, if we do end up there, I'm gonna get my ass right back up. I'm gonna start putting my hands on him. Um, if it does go to the ground, I want to be on top. All right. Thank you very much. Good luck in the fight. You.